Hey, hey, I've been um, encouraged to make a video and talk about customer relationships and you know, business relationships. Well, on this video, I guess we'll take a second to kind of elaborate about how sometimes customers can be harassed from them not, even, not wanting to purchase more or whatever, and then sometimes, um, you know, the people that are working, workers, can be harassed. Uh, they can be harassed about. Um, not really. um, they can the workers can be harassed. They can be harassed about, you know, hey, listen, this stain is supposed to come out of this carpet. Get this down out of the carpet, or oh, I'm not paying you. <laughs> they can be harassed, you know. Um, they can be loud talk, screamed at, all that kind of crazy stuff. So and it's, it makes it can extremely make it challenging for a lot of. Um, workers, it's ironic, workers, people that are actually coming to your house to serve you, service you, serve you, service you, all the above. Um, in my entire history, maybe 10 years, I've only probably been through that maybe five times, so I've tried my best to not attract these type of customers, so sometimes I may not be as busy, but I can appreciate not being as busy because I understand that you know we're not getting we're somehow avoiding these types of customers um, and the client base of people that are asking for sometimes too much um, and knowing too that when it comes to carpet all things with carpets can be resolved as long as a client or customer is willing to pay the price to resolve it you know for example if you know, there's a big stains all on the carpet and they won't come out. You didn't put a carpet protectant on them. Well, we can get them out, you know, and we may have to go through extended measures to do it. Like we may have to uh, replace the carpet uh, in that room, uh, but we can do it, which may essentially may cost you maybe six, seven, eight hundred dollars. But the key is we can do it. Um, I think that some people should really, everyone should keep in mind that if the carpet doesn't have a carpet protectant on it, the stains in that carpet, the stains on that area and on that carpet are not necessarily supposed to come out because it doesn't have a carpet protectant on it. Anyway, um, so once again, customers should just really just keep that in mind. And, um, you know, I guess if you don't have carpet protectant on your carpet, you know, cross your fingers. But if you will, be prepared, you know, and, and, and be knowledgeable. And be kind to these people, everyone, anybody in the service industry. Be kind to these people that are coming in your home to service you uh, and necessarily to serve you. Because, of course, they could pick any type of, you know, career that they could possibly like to. But they, you know, once again, they want to serve the public. So, that's my message for today. Take care.